What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to create custom color maps in Matplotlib. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to create our own custom color maps in Matplotlib and a color map determines which colors are used for different elements in a plot when needed. For example, if we have a scatter plot with a bunch of data points and they belong to different classes and we want to color them based on their class. So all data points of class A should have the same color, all data points of class B should have the same color and so on and so forth. Uh, what color is actually used for the coloring or which colors are actually used for the coloring is determined by the color map. So let me give you a quick example here. We're going to start by importing NumPy SMP. We're going to import a matplotlib.pyplot SPLT and then we're going to generate some values and random random. Let's go with 200 values. We're going to do the same thing for the Y values. Then we're going to generate some classes. We're going to say class equals NP random rand int zero to three. So basically zero, one and two are going to be generated. We want to have 200 values here as well. And we want to say PLT scatter X and Y PLT show. Now, in this case, we don't use the color of the class yet. So we just have one color but we can easily just specify here that C is equal to classes. So the color of the individual points is going to be determined by the classes. And you can see that Matplotlib automatically assigns uh, certain colors. Now, which colors are assigned here is determined by the color map. So this is the default, but we can also specify another color map and Matplotlib actually has a bunch of them built in. So we can just say C map equals. And for example, I can say purples. And this is going to give me different variation of the color purple. Uh, we can also say something like, I think cool was a color map, wasn't it? There you go. Then we have something like, I don't know, set one, set two, set three. Uh, then we have, uh, what was it? Tap 20 C is one that I like using uh, or something like spectral and so on and so forth. We don't see the, the full color map, obviously, because we only have uh, three classes here. And of course, if you have uh, more classes, so for example, if I generate six classes, I'm going to see more of the color map here. So more colors being used. And also, if I have um, more classes than colors, then the colors are going to be recycled. So we're going to see the same color for different classes, because we don't have enough colors. But this is how you use uh, the built in classes and you can go to the map of the documentation and you can find all the different color maps. Um, and usually you will find something that suits your needs. But sometimes you want to have your own color map, your own custom color map. And for that, what you do is you go ahead and import matplotlib.colors. And you can then go ahead and say, custom C map is equal to uh, matplotlib.colors and then we can say listed color map and we can provide a list of colors for example red um, orange and yellow might be a good combination and now instead of passing this string here I can just pass custom c map as a parameter I can run this and you can see now we have red orange and yellow and if I remove yellow, for example, you're going to see that we're not going to get an exception, but you're going to see that the points that should be yellow are now, uh, I would say orange, if not orange, then red, but we still have the points that are just using, um, we just use, I mean, actually, we have six classes, so we recycled even with yellow. Um, but if you have three classes, of course, then you're going to have unique colors for the individual classes. If you don't have three classes, uh, if you have more than three classes, you're going to recycle the colors. In this case, all the colors are going to be recycled. Uh, but let's go back to three. So now no color is recycled. And this is what it looks like. Um, this is the listed color map, right? So we just provide a bunch of values, we can provide them like that, we can provide them uh, with hex code. So I can say FF 0000 for red, I can say, for example, 00 FF 0 for green. And I can do the same thing with blue. And then you can see we have RGB, essentially. So this also works. Now, this is quite limited, of course, first of all, obviously, because um, we can run out of colors for the individual um, for the individual classes, but also we have very strict boundaries. So we cannot have a spectrum, we have discrete color values, we don't have a spectrum of colors. 
if we want to have a spectrum of colors, what we can do is we can say colors dot linear segmented color map dot from list. And we have to provide a name here, I'm going to just call this custom. And then we have to provide a list of colors. So let's start with something quite sim uh, simple, we can say red, orange, and yellow. And then you're going to see that uh, we still have red, orange and yellow, but we can also go ahead and now plot a color bar. So we can say PLT color bar. And then you can see what the color bar looks like. And you can see that this, uh, this is a spectrum with more than just three colors. Uh, whereas if we use the um, the listed color map, and I provide the same color, so red, orange, and yellow, if we do it like that, you can see that we have strict boundaries, we have three colors, and you can see how they are determined. Right, so this is uh, way smoother, this is way, uh, way more continuous, and you can use that here uh, to to define your own range of colors uh, by providing values. And of course, you can do also some crazy stuff, you can do something like jumping around different colors. So red, blue, yellow, and then green, and this is going to look quite ugly, I think, but you can do that if you want to. And then you have a color ball like this, uh, where you have a lot of uh, gray and brown or ugly colors, basically, that don't fit. So they don't, they don't really seem very beautiful. Um, so you might want to choose a spectrum that is somehow natural. For example, if you go from red to blue, you might want to have purple in between and not uh, green, for example, or you might want to have um, between black and white, you want to have gray and not necessarily purple or something like that, unless you have a reason to want that, right. So you can also go ahead here and specify uh, from white to, I don't know. Uh, and by the way, I think we need to provide a hashtag. Um, from white to something like 777777, which is a gray tone to 0000. I think in this case, we don't even need the middle, because it's automatically going to be gray. But you can see how this works. And we can also change that, of course, to red, to mess things up. There you go. So yeah, this actually looks kind of cool. I don't think that that's uh, that this is an ugly uh, color map. But yeah, this can be used now across Matplotlib. And this can also be used in Seaborn, which is the last thing that I want to show you here you can actually create a heat map, for example, so we can go ahead, let's let's um, delete all this here. And let's import Seaborn S S N S. By the way, if you don't have one of those libraries, you just go to pip install numpy map of and Seaborn. So in the command line, as always, and now we're going to say here, um, that we want to have uh, data is going to be equal to S N S load data set. And I'm going to load the Titanic data set. And then I'm going to say SNS dot heat map. And I'm going to say data dot correlation is going to be the data. And the C map is going to be the custom C map. And I'm going to say annotation is going to be true. And then PLT show. And then you can see that this color map is used here in um, in Seaborn in the heat map where one is uh, so the, the full correlation is black and the negative correlation would be complete white and in the middle we have red. Now we can also if we don't like the way this is centered, uh, because I think this is even we can see that better if we use the colors, I have prepared some colors here, 00 AABB, which is I think a light blue, like a turquoise, something like that. Um, white in the middle for basically no correlation. And then something like FF7777, which is a red tone, a light red tone, um, you can see that ideally, what's the problem here? Do I have an F too much? Ideally, we would want white to be uh, at zero, because white would be zero correlation. In this case, this doesn't happen. Uh, because we go from negative uh, 0.6 to one. And because of that, we don't have the white exactly in the middle. So what we can do here is we can say V uh, what was it v min equals negative one and v max equals one. And then you can see that uh, the white is exactly in the center. And this is actually quite a good uh, correlation heat map, in my opinion, because red is hot for a lot of correlation, blue is cold for negative correlation, and white is neutral for no correlation or close to no correlation, uh, which is actually kind of cool. 
right? So this is how you can create your own color map in Matplotlib that can be used in Matplotlib, but also in Seaborn. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and 